Hi, Tristan back with another video. And in this video, I'm reviewing the Happy Hacking Keyboard Bluetooth uh, model. This came out, I would think about a year ago, but it's only distributed in Japan as of this video. But do check the link in the description field because there are some sellers on Amazon that occasionally do sell them there. Uh, I paid about $315 for this keyboard, so it's a little bit expensive. Um, it's very similar to the Happy Hacking Keyboard Pro 2. It's got the same capacitive touch tope key switches, which is really nice. Um, this is it in the dark charcoal gray with the lettered keycaps. They also make one with blank keycaps. And uh, it's totally wireless, so it takes two AA batteries. And you can kind of see on the back, you've got the, this sort of cylinder here that holds the batteries. Some people have complained they don't like the way that looks, that cylinder, that back hub there. But when it's sitting on your desk, uh, it's really not that big a deal. You don't really notice it. And it is really nice not to have any wires, especially if you have an iMac, um, because the iMac only has like four USB slots in the back. It's just a nice clean look not to have any wires going back there. And um, it has the same feel in terms of the keys as uh, the regular Happy Hacking Keyboard Pro 2. Let me type on it a little bit so you can get a sense of how that sounds. So yeah, um, pretty much exactly the same as the regular Happy Hacking Keyboard Pro 2. Uh, although this does have a slightly better build quality in terms of the case. Um, there's, if you try to flex it, there is less flex than the wired version. So it's a little bit of a better build quality. Um, so that's really nice. Uh, on the back, on the bottom, it still has the um, pin switches where you, under this uh, little cover. And as far as I know, the pin switching is exactly the same as the wired version. They just relocated the pins behind there. Um, again, in here you take two AA batteries. It does work with rechargeables as well. I currently have some Eneloop rechargeable batteries in there. I think without rechargeable batteries, it's supposed to last like two months um, of daily usage before you need to replace the batteries. You can also plug this in via a micro USB, which is underneath here, if you want to. Um, but you know, because it's wireless, I choose to use the batteries and use it wirelessly. The other thing that's better about this one versus the wired one is the feet on the bottom. You can kind of see the rubber feet right here. The prior uh, version had weaker rubber feet and it would slide around on the desk um, a little bit more. And let me see if I can show that to you because I do have the prior version here. It's actually, it's actually the um, Happy Hacking Keyboard Pro 2 Type S. But you can kind of see here, I actually had to add my own little uh, tiny little rubber feet here because it didn't really have any on the top. So I actually put these on myself, on the ones on the top. So it has these little ones here near the front, um, but nothing up here. And so what I found that is when you would put this on a desk and it would kind of slide um, a little bit easier. Whereas the Bluetooth model, you can kind of see, it just has much beefier um, rubber pads here and I don't have to actually install anything myself and it doesn't slide on the desk. So it is definitely an upgraded build quality. Um, so here's the box that it comes in. And you can kind of see here, it says Bluetooth. Nice sleek uh, black box. And there is the model number right there. And it also comes with this little sticker and I don't read Japanese. So if somebody wants to translate this or something, um, please, please let me know. But it, says, but it says here, happy hacking keyboard 20th anniversary on the top in English, but I don't know what it says down here. And this is a sticker as well. So this keyboard was pretty much released uh, in sort of a celebration of the happy hacking keyboard 20th anniversary. So other than the differences that I've already outlined, there's not much differences between this keyboard and the wired version that I've reviewed previously in my channel. So check the uh, little link up here for that video. I've actually done a couple of different videos on happy hacking keyboards. It has the sort of same touch, feel, and clickiness as the regular happy hacking keyboard Pro 2, the wired version, except that this is Bluetooth wireless. So it works very well for me on Mac OS 10. It pairs very easily. Um, there's a little button right here that uh, you can ha you kind of hold down for like two seconds to power it on and also to power it off, but I believe it also goes into sleep mode um, by itself if you uh, put the computer to sleep. I don't actually know all the inner uh, workings of it because the instruction manual is pretty much in full Japanese. So if anyone has a link to the instruction manual for this uh, Bluetooth model in English, uh, please feel free to share that because I would like to read that. I'm just not sure um, of some of the nuances uh, like uh, when it goes to sleep and stuff like that. 
It was very easy to pair via Bluetooth. I just held, I just put the batteries in and then held down that little button in the back and I got a little blinking, uh, there's a little LED right here, a blue LED. And then I just went to my Bluetooth uh, preferences on my OS X and was able to pair it that way. It's, it saw the keyboard e instantly and very easy to pair. I believe when the battery starts going down, the little LED here will probably start going um, in orange too because I have seen that it um, also displays in orange. So it'll probably start blinking orange or something like that. So just for fun, and I have done a video on this before, but let's compare the sound between the Type S, which is the silent version, same key switches, uh, versus the Bluetooth, which is the regular key switches, just so you can get a refresher on that. So let's do the regular one first, and hopefully you can hear this. And here's the silent version. So you can see the silent version is not silent, but um, it's a little bit quieter. Um, but yeah, it's not a whole lot of difference uh, in terms of that, but, but the Type S one is a bit quieter. Also, I do have this um, sort of wrist rest from Bird Electronics that I usually put right here. Um, it's in walnut wood. I kind of don't like how it's getting discolored here. Um, but I kind of like it. So I'm kind of maybe looking to get a leather one in the future. Um, and then also I have a mouse pad under my Apple Magic uh, trackpad here because I oftentimes rest my palm like this and I find that that can kind of like discolor the, de the wood desk underneath. So I do put a mouse pad underneath here. So this is generally how I um, just like to operate everything and uh, it works well for me. So thanks for watching my review of the Happy Hacking Keyboard Professional BT, which is the wireless Bluetooth model of the Happy Hacking Keyboard uh, Pro 2. Um, I really like it. And it's really cool that they have finally made a wireless uh, Bluetooth version. For community discussion, please see the comments field. And if you have any questions, etc. And uh, thanks for watching this video. See you in my next video.